Hello, my name is Dominic Underhall House and welcome to another episode of Moonbreaker. In today's episode I'm just going to have a look at one very quick feature on the experimental server and I've, I've tested to see that it runs, I've not done anything with it yet, and that is a good old tutorial. So we've seen the first one, it looked really polished, I just want to see what the second one is. And my understanding from the very brief moment I logged in just to see if it functioned in the slightest is it looks like it's going to teach us about everything including leadership with more voice acting from our favourite model, Maximus. So let's jump in and see how the new tutorial updates are going. Hopefully this will be a bit of a better new player experience. Welcome to the glorious Methodori training grounds where you'll learn how to survive in the reaches. I love his voice. Show you a good time. I mean serious informative training. Okay, so now that you know how to move and fight, it's time to learn about the finer points of conflict in the reaches. Let's start with leadership. So now the leadership is actually in the game. I'm really glad they're working on a tutorial for it because obviously the previous one's going to be a bit different. Okay, we've just heard this. In the reaches. I'll show you a good time. I mean, serious informative training. Okay, so maybe this isn't polished quite yet. Captains generate leadership points every turn. You can use leadership to deploy your crew onto the battlefield. If it keeps talking, I'm just going to start skipping ahead, I think. <laughs> okay, bear with me. <laughs> okay, I am going to use the options to turn that audio down a little bit. Let's, let's just turn the master volume right down. I'm going to talk over these moving forwards. That's hilarious. Okay, <laughs> the ship's bridge on your UI at the bottom of the screen is where your available units await deployment. Deploy Aria to the target position. You know what? I can't hear him doing it. Maybe. Maybe we're right. Maybe it's just three times over. Leadership placeholder. Leadership detail text. I still love we've got our little minimus here. So, bridge, Aria. I like that we've now got... In fact, hang on. Does... Things look neater up close than they do in the full game. Have they changed the... Maybe they've changed it, because there was someone... Was it Tom figured out how to do it? And it looks great. Uh, Deploy Detonia. My two favourite starting units at the moment. That's always a good start as well. Welcome to the glorious <laughs> <Methodori> <laughs> no, every time he speaks. Every time he speaks. Okay. So you'll notice that newly spawned units cannot move or take... Oh, typo. Cannot more or take actions until their next turn. Unless they have the X ability. Um... X ability needs to be changed to charge. Okay. As each turn progresses, you'll you will gain more leadership and can add more units to the battle. Yes, that is how it works. So click next yet. Yeah, it is obviously telling us to go to next turn whilst you're seeing if anything else comes up. So no. <laughs> We've got the same voice lines coming through again. Conflict can happen throughout the reaches, and every player needs to understand how to read the battlefield. There are three types of cover that impact gameplay. Cover system detail text. Okay, I mean, obviously that's fine. Now, this is like our fifth time hearing Maximus. Now things are starting to look more like a real battle around here. In fact, can I just change the voice line? There we go. Like, I knew that this was an option, but I didn't know if it would work. Now things are starting to look more like a real battle around here. Destroy the targets with Aria and Tetonia. Notice how cover affects their attacks and abilities. Destroy target one, destroy target two. I mean, that's just Tetonia. And kill both because we know that's how. In fact, are these? Oh, they're still called training dummies. I think they should still be called minimus. Yoink! Huzzah! It's clear that you're not someone who will be intimidated by a few trees, bushes, or rocks. That is probably correct. Uh, While well, this is here, we can't get around. Cinder placeholder text. One last topic for today. As you may recall, all of your special abilities require Cinder. Much like leadership, Cinder recharges with each turn. Captains always generate Cinder, but some crew do as well. Be sure to include some Cinder generating units when you create your own crew rosters. There we go. So that is our first little bit here. So we've got yeah, low visibility options here. Maybe we get some more. Because that one actually said low visibility. I'm pretty sure that's hard cover in the, in the other one. In fact, no, neither of them are low visibility. One's hard cover, one's soft cover, and neither of those are low. Uh, Cinder can also be found and collected from some objects on the battlefield. So there's a bit of feedback needed to be given here. This is obviously a work in progress. It's never meant to be a final version, but I just wanted to see, you know, where we were up to with it. And it's nice to see that there is change here. Use your units to collect the Cinder. So we move here. 
end the turn and we harvest this on our next turn. There we go. So we've now harvested the cinder. Ah. Maybe this is still thinking of how the old system worked. Let's put all three of these in contact and see if this works. Because if this is coded to still work in the previous way, we have to destroy it. We do get all three, but nothing's happening. Okay, so let's just... Okay, if that's how we're doing this, we're going to run away so we don't injure ourselves. And just try and shoot so we waste time. Yeah, so... Weirdly enough, it has the the new updated text but the old rules in place. This is what I love about the experimental server. There's so many fun little things you can find that are like either not completed or part way through and we get to give feedback on them before they're even you know implemented in the game so I love it. Brilliant. Now it's time for you to use all you've learned to defeat some real opponents. Go and make me proud. Eliminate all enemy units. Oh. Tutorial module 02 underscore dialogue 16 hash. Thank you, Maximus. Oh, I thought we were actually going to be able to fight there. Well, there we go. <laughs> Definitely in need of a little bit of polish there, but a really, really nice addition to the tutorial side of things. So, I noticed that the sandbox is still gone from here. It was here briefly. So, again, a lot of development being made. I'm just looking for more portraits or anything like that. Were there any new units? Because there was talk of some potentially coming on at some point. I'm just going to check to see if there's any here that we've missed. Because uh, obviously this is going to need to be testing for when the next release comes out soon. So no new units on there yet. No sign of Zuna, who's going to be the next captain, it looks like. But, and last thing is, anything new on the season track? I think we still were at 55 last time. Yeah. So it's only the glitter paints we went up to previously. But this is going to be changing, which is nice. So we'd, for anyone who's been worried about the season pass, the... Uh, so there's the dev check-in part of the Discord where it just shows sort of some of the tweaks the devs are making behind the scenes. They might not be coming to a live version of the game anytime soon. Sometimes it's too experimental, sometimes we'll be behind the scenes, but we just get a little glimpse of the things that are coming. And one of them is that this is now being changed. It's not going to be called Exterior's Awakening anymore. I think it's going to be something like Early Access Rewards. And it's going to have no more timer. So the time it's not time constricted. You're going to be able to just gradually work your way through everything. And my guess is going to be, just like they did with this most recent one, it's just adding things onto the end of it as a little sort of bonus section here, at least for the meantime. So, there's some really good changes coming to Experimental. My favourite still is just having all of the units with additional power, additional you know, damage and that sort of thing. I'm really going to be looking forward to diving into a few games and seeing how bonkers it's going to get. Because trust me, it's going to get a little bit silly. But that's all part of the testing process, and I think it's something that's really, really valuable for, you know, unknown worlds to learn from us the players and as to you know what we want what we find an enjoyable experience and i think the amount of times and the speed in which they've they iterated and changed the what they've delivered to us is unbelievable so more positives from the unknown world staff again experimental such a good idea great to be able to give feedback before it becomes a part of the main game and i think just huge bounds in the right direction if you've enjoyed this, you want to hear more content along these lines, please do hit that subscribe button. Please do join us on the Patreon if you want to in the description down below, or just like and comment on the video. I love hearing from you every single time. But more importantly than any of that is to have a good day.